African countries are estimated to lose more than 50 billion US dollars a year in the illicit and illegal flow of money, illicit financial flows, more than the total amount of aid received by African countries each year. The activities implicated in these transfers range from tax evasion to money laundering and terror financing. While Africa is not alone in its battle with illicit financial flows, the economic implications for its countries are particularly severe. In an effort to deal with this issue, Pan-African Good Financial Governance GFG networks representing African ministries of finance, tax authorities, supreme audit institutions, as well as public accounts committees, organized a three-day international conference titled Tackling Illicit Financial Flows, an African Approach to a Global Phenomenon in Yaoundé, Cameroon from May 24 to 26, 2017. Hosted by the General Secretariat of the African Organization of Supreme Audit Institutions, AFROSAI, the conference was organized in partnership with the African Organization of Public Accounts Committees, AFROPAC, the African Tax Administration Forum, ATAF, and the Collaborative Africa Budget Reform Initiative, CABRI. The joint conference marks the start of a cooperation on illicit financial flows, which complements the individual efforts of the four networks. A big part of dealing with the illicit financial flow stemming lies within the capability of African countries. They are what we've identified as the low-hanging fruit that can immediately increase the share of GDP in tax that African countries take. You really cannot tackle, especially from the perspective of parliament, you really cannot tackle illicit financial flows without looking into the whole aspect of the budget design and the entire public finance cycle. The silo approach is not going to help. Um, in fact, a silo approach may even undermine our efforts. Um, so we need to um, undertake a more collaborative approach um, in order to counter illicit financial flows. The conference's objective was to raise awareness on illicit financial flows and to discuss the way in which African institutions can jointly combat this issue. The conference was held over three days. Amongst the attendees were 250 delegates from 42 countries, representing African ministries of finance, tax authorities, supreme audit institutions, as well as public accounts committees. Also, organizations such as the African Union, Global Financial Integrity, OECD, Tax Justice Network, NEPAD, Action Aid, and ARINSA attended. The first day was opened by the Prime Minister of Cameroon and focused on the shared vision of illicit financial flows and existing tools to combat the issue. Day two discussed interagency cooperation across the budget cycle. To deepen discussions and to engage participants, breakaway sessions on illicit financial flows stemming from commercial activities corruption and criminal activities were organized by ATAF, CABRI, and AFROSAI respectively. Improving tax systems, capacitating tax administrations, promoting budget transparency, strengthening audit functions, and enhancing parliamentary and legislative oversight are prerequisites to fight the systemic challenge of illicit financial flows. Only when these individual components function conjointly will gaps in the budget cycle be minimized. Day 3, the last day of the conference, concluded with the signing of the Good Financial Governance Declaration on Illicit Financial Flows. The declaration was signed by the four networks as well as by conference participants expressing their commitment to the fight against illicit financial flows. In signing the declaration, the four partner networks committed to making illicit financial flows a shared priority. So this conference and the declaration, it really is a collaborative effort of, of the four networks. It was when uh, we were working with the individual parts of the budget cycle, tax and budget and audit and parliament, that we realized that like each has their very unique part to play, but together uh, and jointly they are much more than the sum of, of the parts. The joint declaration and this, the signing by so many participants, um, that shows how well it was taken up, but it's just one step in the process and now we need to take it to the next level. And the 
next level really is the intensified cooperation of the networks on illicit financial flows and to take it to the EU level to get the to marry in a way the political level with the technical knowledge and capacity and um, engagement of the network and their members. Even Cameroon is going to benefit from the fight of uh, illicit financial flows. Cameroon would benefit from the resolutions and from the resolutions of uh, this conference.